What are VOD reviews? Learn from other players and game. Today I will share with you what VOD reviews are and how to learn and add to your game with them. Later I will also get into when to VOD review and how to implement what you learn from VODs into your game. VOD reviews are basically reviewing gameplay and looking at what decisions led to a death or a kill in game. Here's an example. Let's say you're analyzing pro gameplay. Why did Shroud peek? How does he automatically aim for the head? How come enemies don't see where he was when he was sneaking up on them? Next, I will be showing you how to look at and review gameplay better. Don't just look at aim and say that that's the reason they killed an enemy. Look more into positioning and why they pick their fights. Usually they pick their fights because they have a highest percentage of winning and you can also review that. Here's an example of a VOD review. Using my launch pads, I took a few shots at kids damaged them but it really wasn't damage from the lobby left. Um, I shot out I shot out high with the RPG as a lot of kids were trying to pretty much psycho me which means like jump on me and all I had to do was keep tight here so I pretty much rotated, kept tight and then RPG the last kid for the win. Um, pretty simple easy victory and move on to the next game. You can forget what you learn super quickly especially if you're doing it for a long period of time. So I suggest you to write every mistake and everything you learned. There are different types of VOD reviews. The first one is just normal VOD reviews of your own gameplay. Some reasons you might want to review your own gameplay is to look for mistakes. I go in detail in my Game Sense video, but here's a summary. Just look at your decision making right before your death. Not just that, but also look at your decisions right before you get a kill. Analyze that. Another part of VOD reviewing is reviewing your enemy's decisions and why they killed you. Repeat the process and you should learn more flaws in your game more than ever. And I'm saying VOD reviews are the fastest way of doing that. Another way of VOD reviewing is looking at other players' gameplay in your skill level. I know that is pretty weird, but hear me out. Let's say you're in bronze in Valorant or 2000 points in Arena in Fortnite. Search up gameplay at that skill level on YouTube or anything. I say on your skill level because no one wants to analyze someone who just started playing or someone who has no mistakes. You can learn from players in your skill level way more. Now that you fix all your mistakes, which no one ever does because we're human, then look at pro gameplay. I think this is the most helpful type of VOD reviewing because you can learn so much from the best of the best. Now there are many ways you can VOD review pros. You can just watch their stream on Twitch or something, or you can look at tournament or high rank clips. What I recommend people do is watch VOD reviewers and hear what they say. For example, I watched Dragon Mar, who reviews Valorant pros and his subs games. He talks about stuff I don't even realize when I watch the gameplay, which is the main reason I love these type of channels. Some even review gameplay if you can't spot your mistakes. Now, I showed you what they are and all the ways you can VOD review, but how often should you VOD review? I would say around 15 to 20 minutes a day is good enough. You're just gonna forget everything if you do it more than that because VOD reviews give so much info. Also, it might get boring after the 20 minute mark. I would say do this every day you can and you'll be better within a few days or a week. Don't ever stop VOD reviewing though because no one ever learns everything. And besides, we make so many mistakes still, even after looking at that, because we're human. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.